Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about budget 10 gigabit NAS. QNAP have been one of the driving forces behind 10 gigabit Ethernet in the last few years. Don't get me wrong, they didn't get into this market first, by no means did they do that, but they have certainly innovated the most in this industry over the last few years and we are seeing lots of solutions from the top to the bottom all the way through 10 gigabit Ethernet file access, appliances and more. And today I want to talk about things right at the bottom of the food chain. At CES 220 in Vegas, QNAP have unveiled a lot of their new products for this year, and two of them were very, very cost-effective 10 gigabit Ethernet solutions. Both part of a continuing family in the third generation, I want to talk about the TS431X3 and the TS431KX. And straight away, I want to highlight, I have no idea what the K stands for in that name. So if you have any clues, put it in the comments. But I'll be honest with you, I'm struggling. But the TS431X3 and the 431KX, which I'm now going to call for the rest of the video, the X3 and the KX, are two very, very affordable 4-bay RAID-enabled 10 GBE solutions. They both arrive with support of SFP fiber-based 10 GBE, so that is one that's going to need little transceivers or DAC cables, but effectively it's the 10 GBE that businesses use and long-distance 10 GBE networks require. And I know in the UK not a lot of home users take advantage of SSP, but I know over in the States and definitely in the East, fiber-based 10 GBE and indeed fiber-based whole system networking in homes isn't actually that rare by comparison. So maybe this device is aimed at you too, but predominantly this is designed at SMB, small, medium business, and it, this four-bay device from QNAP arrives with support of a whole host of QTS 4.4.1 applications. And we've got container station support, we've got surveillance station support, we've got backup support, synchronization support, and you've got the traditional multimedia support of photo station, video station, and music station. However, this is a very affordable solution. And what that means in real terms is the CPU and the memory inside isn't exactly going to blow your socks off. Um, I mean, even the chassis of the device, they're still sticking with the plastic four-bay chassis, no LCD display, plastic trays on the front. And the CPU inside is an Annapurna Alpine Labs, and it's uh, a quad-core CPU being found in the X3 and a dual core CPU being found inside the KX, both 1.7 gigahertz and in the same family. On top of that, they both arrive with 2 gig of DDR3L memory that can be upgraded officially to 8 gig over one slot. So again, not exactly awe-inspiring stuff. You're not going to really take advantage of things like link aggregation, and both of them only got one 10 GBE port. They've got some USB as well on there, but no HDMI and features like that. But one area of interest, and again, I'm quite surprised by this, is on the 431X3. It arrives with that 10 GBE port, as mentioned, but also an additional 2.5 GBE port. Now, this is interesting for two main reasons. One, a 10 GBE devi uh, device that has a 2.5 GBE copper port on an affordable NAS is pretty unheard of. We've still not seen the likes of um, 2.5 GBE and 5 GBE be featured on really, really low-end devices. I kind of assumed that 2.5 and 5 GBE would arrive as the standard on mid-level devices, your mid-range, your 453BEs, your... Uh, um, you know, your 918s, that sort of thing, the next tier of those releases. I thought that is where we'd find 2.5 and 5 GBE at its entry point. But no, not only are we seeing it at that bottom tier, but we're seeing it on a 10 GBE enabled device, which kind of indicates my second point, is QNAP going to go down that road now where they're going to ditch 1 GBE largely altogether? Don't get me wrong, we have already seen announcements for the TS230 budget NAS and of course that PCIe enabled 251D which arrived with a 1 GBE on both of them. But 2.5 GBE becoming the standard to me is very interesting indeed because it's what we've all been wanting for ages. We, you know, the, the bottleneck of one gigabit Ethernet is very, very present. We've got, we want our data fast, we want our data big, and we want it now. And 
The 1GBE is reaching its bottleneck. Our internet speeds are far surpassing it already. And once we go to networks where there's distribution of packets of data throughout them, and these packets are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, there's going to be one or two devices on your network already that are going to be feeling the pinch and ruining it for everyone. And that's why I find that quite interesting. These two budget devices aren't really aimed at me but they're aimed at people that want to take advantage of 10 gigabit Ethernet and not break the bank. Now, both of these follow the TS431X and the 431X2. This was a budget line of 10 gigabit Ethernet fiber devices that QNAP have been releasing for a few years now. And these two being the latest entry into that family are quite pleasing. Because although that CPU doesn't exactly knock your socks off, it's still better than that of its predecessors. It's a far more efficient CPU and does give you more output. And when you're taking advantage of that 10 GBE and 2.5 GBE port on the X3, you are going to take advantage of that with that CPU. Don't get me wrong, it's not graphically enabled. You're not going to take advantage of virtualization. And you may also keenly have noticed that I said surveillance station, not QVR Pro from QNAP. It isn't that kind of device. It's efficient, kind of set up and forget, but still gives you 10 GBE. And although you can exchange large file packets with it, I don't think you should be thinking about large scale photo video editing on this because the speeds you're going to get from this are not going to be at the tippity tippity top. But if you are editing HD or large raw photos, then definitely this could be for you. But this has been the X3 and the KX NAS. We're going to learn more about this. And if you do go to the NAS Compare articles and the span links in the description, you'll find out far, far more updated content on this device, updated as regularly as I can. But otherwise, I'm going to wrap things up and start talking about more things at CES in future videos. I'll see you next time.